Hi friends, today I'm going to review the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder blushes. I have three colors, Cheer, Hope and Joy. And in this video I'm going to show you how they look in natural light, I'm going to show you arm swatches and I'm going to show you each of the colors on my face. I also wanted to compare the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder blushes to two iconic products that a lot of us love and this is the limited edition blush of Chanel Fantasy de Chanel which was an illuminating blush that a lot of people loved a lot of people couldn't get and I'm going to show you how this one looks side by side compared to the new rare beauty blushes I also wanted to show you the house loves bio radiant gel powder highlighter in the shade rose quartz which I think is one of the most beautiful shades that for fair skin tones it works like an illuminating blush blush. So let's go ahead and get started. If you enjoy beauty talks, please take a moment to subscribe. I would love to welcome you to our beauty community. And if you're returning, welcome back, beautiful friends. Don't forget to let me know if you try these blushes. What are your thoughts? Because this is going to be helpful for our whole community. Now, first of all, I wanted to show you the packaging. It's very consistent with the Rare Beauty brand. You have 2.8 grams of product inside and there is a beautiful mirror in the compact, I wanted to compare it to one of her cream blushes. The compact of the cream blushes is a little bit smaller and you're getting 5 grams of product with the cream blush and you're getting 2.8 grams of product with the new luminous powder blush. The blushes are made in Italy and what makes this blushes quite interesting to me is that they can be used as a highlighter or as a blush or they can be used somewhere in the middle. As a lot of you probably remember a couple of years ago when Chanel released their illuminating blush fantasy de Chanel. I think that a lot of people fa have fallen in love with this blush because it was um, intended to be used as a highlighter for deeper skin tones and then for um, an illuminating blush for fair skin tones like mine. The new Rare Beauty blushes come in six different shades. I was only able to get three of them. I really wanted to get Happy, which is this cool toned pink color but it was not available when I was purchasing the blushes so I have the shades Cheer, Hope and Joy. These blushes are supposed to be used like a two-in-one product. They can be used as an illuminating blush or you can use them as a highlighter depending on the color that you choose and depending on your skin tone. For example, for me, Cheer can be used as a highlighter or as a blush. I'm actually going to show you in the demo all of the three colors that I have, how they look if I apply them lightly, high on my cheekbones, used as a blush just to add a little bit of luminosity to my skin and then I'm going to apply them also as an illuminating blush. You can also use them as blush toppers or you can apply them on the eyelids and use them as eyeshadows. This is what I'm wearing today on my eyes. I have the color Cheer on my eyes in this video and I would say that it works beautiful and it looks very flattering applied on the eyelids and I usually like to match my blush with my eyeshadow so this is an additional way in which you can use the blushes. The texture of the blushes is very smooth when I touch the blush it almost feels like silk it almost feels like silky smooth I can very easily pick up the color and initially the first time when I started applying the color to my cheek I realized that I'm getting way too much color so I would suggest using a brush with um, let's say more like long and loose bristles you don't need a brush with firm bristles because you're going to get too much product all at once these are illuminating blushes so I would say that you can either use a smaller brush a flat brush and apply this one high on your cheekbones to use it as a highlighter on days when you don't want to have too much luminosity to the face. I think that some of the colors are going to work beautifully as a highlighter. I like the smooth and silky texture of the blushes. I prefer to use them on top of loose powder and you're going to see me removing my makeup every time when I swatch the different colors of the blushes. I'm using a Bioderma micellar water and then I'm applying the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer and on top I'm adding my Givenchy Prisma Libre Powder. I prefer to use these blushes on top of powder because they are illuminating and if I use them directly on top of my foundation I find that they might appear streaky and I want to have some powder to my face 
when I'm applying, before applying these blushes, because this is going to give me a more soft focus effect. Now the blushes are luminous, so if you are not, in, if you do not like luminosity to the face, the blushes definitely look like somewhere in the middle between a blush and a highlighter. And the good thing here is that there is no glitter inside. So it's a silky, smooth texture that has a lot of luminosity, but no glittery particles, no shimmery particles. They are very smooth in texture. And I think that if you choose a color that is going to complement your skin tone, you might use this one as a two in a one product, as a blush, as a highlighter, or as a blush topper, or you can even use it on the eyelid. I'm quite happy with my purchase. My personal favorite color is going to be Cheer. This is the one that matches my skin tone best. A little goes a long way with these blushes. I find that I don't need to apply a lot. I'm getting the color right away. There are four ways in which you can use the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder blushes. One is to apply them as a highlighter on top of the cheekbone. You're going to see on the demo, I apply each of these colors as highlighters. The color is going to be visible. I would say that the most suitable color for my skin tone personally is going to be Cheer. This is the one that can look as a highlighter if I apply a small amount. Hope and Joy definitely show up a little bit of the color, but it looks very flattering. Even if I decide to use these blushes as highlighters only, I'm still going to use a blush. So the colors are going to blend beautifully. Now I have two favorite brushes to apply these blushes as highlighter. And one is this flat brush. It's quite old. It's from Sephora Italy and it's not available anymore. The other one that I really like is Refra number 18. I always apply my highlighter with this brush because it's rounded, it's small, and it very easily allows to place the color. And it's a great multitasker as well, but you can use any kind of brush that you use for your highlighter. So if you apply the color high on the cheekbones, you can achieve this lit from within glow. These powders are beautiful. They are very smooth, soft. The trick here is going to be to apply just a little bit, not a lot, because if you start you can very easily build up the color, even though they look pale in the pants, even sheer. The first time when I applied it, I was surprised how much color I got. And then you're going to have some difficulties to blend this out. Since these are illuminating blushes, I would suggest you to use a brush that has more that doesn't have firm bristles. So I would suggest to use a brush with longer and loose bristles like this one, because it's going to help you to easily move the color. Always make sure to tap also the color on the back of your hand. Don't go straight from the pan onto your face because you're going to get too much color all at once and then it's getting difficult to blend it. And this might contribute to emphasizing some texture on the skin as well. So go be light-handed with these blushes. The other option is going to be to use the blushes as they are intended to be used as a blush, as a regular blush. They are illuminating blushes and I prefer to use them on top of loose powder. On the demo, you're going to see me removing my makeup every time with Bioderma, micellar water, and then I'm applying a tinted moisturizer and then I'm using a loose powder. I prefer to use these kind of illuminating blushes on top of loose powder because on a powdered face, they are going to apply a lot more smoothly and they're going to blend more beautifully. I do not like to apply them directly onto my foundation because the skin is still wet and if the skin is a little bit wet, tacky from the foundation, these are not going to blend beautifully they might appear to emphasize some texture on the skin. So my suggestion is going to be to apply them on top of powder and go lightly with the application. Another way to use these blushes is going to be if you do not like the luminosity and if you're someone who prefers more subtle looks and you don't want to have this kind of luminous cheeks because the luminosity shows, as you can tell. Another way to use these soft pinch blushes is going to be to apply them as a blush topper. Again, you have to be light-handed and you can bring a little bit of life to your complexion by adding this on top of your blush to add a little bit of luminosity and kind of lit from within glow. And my last tip is going to be try to use them on your eyelids. I think that they look beautiful on the eyelids because of the very soft luminosity. The new Rare Beauty blushes remind me a lot 
the Chanel Illuminating Powder, Illuminating Blushing Fantasy de Chanel. This was a limited edition and you cannot get this one anymore. You're going to see how this one looks on my face compared to Cheer, which is I think the color that is closest to this shade of Chanel. I love and I think that a lot of people have fallen in love with this blush of Chanel, but unfortunately it was a limited edition so a lot of people couldn't get this one. So I think that Cheer is quite similar to this one. Overall, the Rare Beauty blushes are similar to Fantasy de Chanel in terms of the way they look, in terms of performance. So it all depends on your skin tone, on what you like. But in terms of texture, I would say that they are quite similar. And in terms of performance, again, Fantasy de Chanel was this kind of illuminating blush. It could be used, it can be used as a two-in-one product for deeper skin tones, it's a highlighter. And for fair skin tones like mine, it's an illuminating blush. So you're going to see on the demo how it looks side by side to Rare Beauty. And then the other product that I wanted to show and that I wanted to compare was the House Labs Bio Radiant. Oh, this has a long name, Bioradiant Powder Highlighter with Arnica Extract. I really like this one in rose quartz. I have, I believe, five colors of these highlighters. And if you're interested in, if you want to see swatches, I am going to link to my video when I reviewed these. I made a review of these powder highlighters when they were released a while ago. This one is definitely my favorite and I would say that it's a similar compared to, again I compared it to Cheer because I think that the color is the most similar to Cheer. I like to use this one as an, as an illuminating blush. and. I think that Cheer is actually my favorite color, the one that matches my skin tone best. And then I really like Joy as well because I think that it's going to be beautiful, especially for the summer months when I get a little bit of color and it's going to complement beautifully a bronzy look. I think that Joy is going to be one of the colors that is very underrated. It reminds me a little bit of Chanel's Reflex blush that I love so much and that has been my favorite but unfortunately the Chanel blushes were reformulated and the new formulation is not as good as the old formulation. Now just for comparison the Chanel blush in Fantasy de Chanel contains 7 grams of product whereas the new Rare Beauty blushes contain 2.8 grams of product. However, a little goes a long way with these blushes and unless you use them every single day, unless you buy one blush and use it every single day, I think that it's pretty hard to hit a pan on this product and still this is a clean beauty product which means that you will have to replace it at some point. It says that after you open it you can use it for 12 months. I think that you can't unless you're using this absolutely every single day and you're using a lot, I think that you cannot get through this powder blush for 12 months. I'm not really sure if these blushes are going to last more for Chanel. I can say that they say on their blushes that you can use them usually for 18 months for most of their blushes, but I usually use them for three, four years. They're still good. The powders of Chanel are still good. I do not have experience with Rare Beauty, so I cannot tell. Usually with Clean Beauty brands, products go back much quicker compared to standard products because they use certain ingredients that can go back bad very quickly. But I think that you're getting enough product for your money. If you like this kind of illuminating blush with a lot of luminosity, if you like this kind of a two-in-one product, I think that you're going to enjoy these products. If you do not like luminosity on the face and if you're someone who prefers more matte looks I think that these products are obviously not going to be for you. Now for me personally I like the finish of the blushes. I know that I'm going to enjoy these three blushes a lot especially wearing them on my eyelids and as a kind of I would wear them lightly on my skin. Maybe most of the time I'm going to be using them as a blush topper and as a highlighter or somewhere in the middle. Do they emphasize texture? Like, I do not see these blushes to emphasize my texture, but this is an illuminating product. So if you have a lot of texture, dilated pores, and you don't like luminous products, then this might be an issue for you. I do not see these products to emphasize texture on my skin personally, considering that I do not have much texture on my skin, especially right here when I'm applying the the blushes. Um, I think that the um, 
consistency of the product is quite smooth but still it's going to be your decision whether you really like this kind of illuminating products on the face or not. The powders are smooth, they do not contain shimmery particles, they are almost like a luminous satin finish. It have, They have a lot of luminosity but it doesn't come from glitters. Overall I really like this new release from Rare Beauty and Solana Gomez. I think that if you enjoyed Chanel's Fantasy de Chanel or if you enjoyed the House Labs highlighters and in particular Rose Quartz which was I think which is I think the best color out of all five colors that I have. I think you're going to enjoy Rare Beauty as well. I think that this is a fun product that is going to be very easy and beautiful to use, especially in the summer months. It's going to create this very healthy looking luminous skin like you've just been on vacation or I can see myself using this one at the seaside on a vacation. The colors are beautiful and the texture is beautiful as well. I also enjoy seeing a product that does not contain shimmery particles or glitters. This is something very important for me because we've seen a lot of brands and so many brands releasing shimmery products lately, shimmering highlighters that contain glitter and it's refreshing to see something that is that smooth and nice. Of course it's all going to be up to you whether you want to wear this kind of illuminating products on the face and illuminating blushes. Let me know what you think. If you try them let us know how they work for you and let us know also what is on your wish list. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye!